a pedigree. Remember, in this pedigree, you have uh, different styles. A question can come when this pedigree is a uh, sex linked. Uh, it can come when this pedigree is non sex linked. So you have to take note of the following before you answer any question concerning about a, a pedigree. It can be sex linked, it can be non sex linked, uh, it can be caused by a dominant allele, or it can be caused by a recessive allele. So when you are trying to answer these questions, you have to first know this pedigree is caused by what? Is it a recessive allele? Is it uh, a non-recessive allele, meaning that uh, it's a dominant allele? Because uh, if it is a dominant allele, then definitely you have to use the capital letters. If it is uh, a recessive allele, then it means that you're supposed to use small letters. So uh, please take note of that. Then if it is saying that, if the question comes and is saying that it is uh, sex linked, if it is not saying that sex linked, please don't use X and Y. So we're gonna look at these questions. We have uh, different kinds of questions we're gonna look at so that at least you don't suffer with this. Uh, Kunda is saying that uh, I received a distinction. Thank you very much for receiving a distinction and I know that at the end of the year you will receive distinctions. Uh, I always say that distinction times two. All right, the first question is saying that these are national examination uh, questions like uh, obtained from the past papers. Uh, please always and always uh, use these past papers so that they can guide you. All right, the first question is saying that uh, Moya Moya is a disorder caused by a dominant allele. Moya Moya is a disorder caused by a dominant allele, capital R. You see, the question is saying, is stating it that it is caused by a dominant allele. This disorder or this disorder damages the arteries supplying the blood uh, to the brain. Okay? So that is the what is important here in this statement. We don't want to know supplying the blood. We don't want to know the condition. What is important is caused by a dominant allele. This is a key point. As I say that, it can be caused by a recessive allele. It can be caused by a dominant allele. It can be sex, sex linked, or it can be a non-sexy linked, meaning that it is an autosomal, autosomal, uh, 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 character. So please take note of that. So in this case, first of all, it is caused by a dominant allele. And they are saying that they are not specifying anything here. They are not saying anything here that it is caused by sex linked. However much I've talked about male or female, I should not use X and Y. So let's go. Ah, the first question is saying that how many generations are uh, represented in the diagram? When you talk about generations here, you only have to look at this is the first generation, this is the second generation, this is the third generation. So in other words, there are three generations which are indicated in this uh, diagram. So the answer here should be uh, three. And then they're saying that um, give the letter, sometimes letters, uh, of an affected male. Now, sometimes we give you a key, which means uh, you have to take note of it and then know that whether it is uh, caused by uh, a dominant, sorry, is uh, caused by a dominant allele, recessive allele, but we don't give you a key to show that this is a male is affected, this is a female is not affected. So we just give you the question. So uh, please take note of that. So in this case, they gave you a key. So the one who is shaded is affected with the 
disorder. The one who is not shared is not affected. So it means that you have to take note of that. So in this case, we are saying that um, uh, we are saying that affected male, affected male, a box. We say that a box means a male, and then uh, a circle means uh, a female. So if they are saying that uh, an affected male. So here they're saying a box which is not shared is unaffected. So they are saying that, so I come here and I find out it's only one person who is unaffected. So the answer uh, is saying is supposed to be H. I think that's why it is also one mark. Then the, they are saying that genotype of individual A. Where is genotype of individual A? So because this is someone who is affected, Yes, and this is known, they have not said that this is a, a, a sex linked. And then, number two, they produced a kid who is a female, and this kid is uh, non affected. So, what does it mean? It means that if this kid is not affected, it means that this person is recessive, small r, small r. And then this one is not affected because this is caused by a dominant allele. So it can either be capital R, small r, or capital R, capital R, this individual A. So, but because this is small r, small r, yes, and then they produce a kid who is small r, small r, yes, it means that one allele, one allele came from the mother, obvious mother is like that, as we have seen it here, and one allele came from the father. Therefore, the father can't be this. So the father is like that, meaning that one allele came from the father, one allele came from the mother, and they gave rise to this kid. Hence, uh, A is of this genotype. So it is A is heterozygous. I think uh, I'm clear there. Yes. Um, then the next question, they are saying that uh, genotype. Uh, genotype of A, we are done with that. It is capital R, small r. Give the letter, all letters. Can you please start? I just logged. I just logged in. Yes, uh, we are going on. We are going on. Yes, uh -huh. so if, if, if you have just missed it out, yeah, don't forget that you have a lot of questions down there. So try to keep up and then you'll get uh, there. So we are saying that give the letters, the letters of what? Of, uh, of, uh, um, let me check here. Someone is disturbing me. All right. Uh -huh. Give the letters of individual who is not biological uh, uh, kids for A and B. Where is A and B? A and B. A and B. So in this case, this line means they give rise to these two kids. This person, this person C, and this person F, it shows that they just have, they just got married. You see, they just got married. So F and C are not biological children for this. So it means that the answer here is going to be F, yes, this F and C, because this, if this line was like this, then there would have been this, the, the, the kids of these parents. But because this line is not like that, it means that, what does it mean? It means that uh, they just got married. So this is not a biological child for these two. And also this is not a biological child for these two. So I think uh, I'm clear there. Then they are saying that, uh, they are saying that, sorry, uh, they are saying that um, brown inner male, brown inner male, this is another question, it's another question, uh, brown inner male of teeth is sex, uh -huh. now here, this question, they have specified that this is a sex linked, 
So in the question, if they don't specify that this is a sex-linked disorder, please do not talk about X and Y. However, you see now here, we have not talked about X and Y. So please find out whether it is caused by recessive allele, dominant allele, sex-linked orosomes, meaning that non-sex-linked. So there is another question here. Uh, this question is about uh, pedigree again. But this pedigree, what are they saying? One type of defect in human is, is carried on single allele. Okay. The diagram shows the inheritance of the of deafness in family. So they are not specific that they are not saying that uh, this is caused by uh, is sex linked. No, they are not saying that. So if it is not showing you that is caused by sex linked, then automatically I have to keep it the way it is. Yeah, it means that you are not supposed to 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 to, to, to check to to use X and Y. Yes, you are not supposed to use X and Y. Just a moment. Okay. It's locked. All right. Ah, they are saying that. Uh, how many generations? We have seen uh, this question before. How many generations? This is one generation. This is the first generation. First generation. This is the second generation. And this is the third generation. So this pedigree diagram showing three generations. Children of Paul, how many children of Paul and Liz? This is Paul, this is Paul, and this is Liz. So the answer is gonna be uh -huh. one, two, three. Yes, this is not a child of Paul and Liz. Why? Because this is just married. This means inter inter reading or sex uh, is happening or marriage or cross whatever uh, you can describe it and then um, yes so it means that there are three individuals so also it is three they are saying which phenotype is dominant uh, which phenotype is dominant based on this uh, you have deafness and then a person who can hear, deaf and hearing. Uh, you have to, since they didn't uh, show you that this is dominant, this is a recessive, you have to look at maybe two parents and then their kids, and then you see which one uh, leads to the other. So if you look at this and this, uh, this will not show you because we don't know whether it's a heterozygous or even this one will not show you. But this one can show you. This is showing this person is hearing, this person is hearing. Okay? But they produced a kid who is deaf. What does it mean? It means that these two, they had a recessive allele for deafness. It means that deafness is caused by recessive allele. Therefore, hearing is caused by a dominant allele. So, which phenotype? So, the answer here must be hearing. Here, hearing. Yes. And then, use the offsprings of Bob and Anna. Oh, Bob and Anna. So, it's the same thing we have used. We use the same example. Why are you saying that hearing is the dominant allele? As I said that, Bob and Anna, yes, use Bob and Anna to explain your answer. Bob and Anna, yes, look, uh, we, we, we are seeing that Bob and Anna, both of them, if this is Bob and this is Anna or Anne, whatever, yes, uh, if these two are normal and they intermarried or interbreed and they produced this kid, this kid and this boy, who is uh, 
deaf. Uh, what does it mean? It means that this person, if it is small r, small r, they are recessive. It means that Bob had uh, 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 is capital R, small r, even this one is capital R, small r. And then this came from the mother, this came from the father, and then they joined it, and then they formed this kid who is, uh, sorry, uh, let me show you, uh, a kid who is, who is having the disease. It means that this, this allele, this allele, and this allele, they came here. Yes. So it means that, so use Bob and Anna and explain your answer. So you can say that, Bob, who is a, ma a male and is hearing, yes, married, yes, Anna, who is male, female and is hearing. They say it's caused by sex link? No. So that's why you're not saying uh, anything with X and Y. So this Bob, who is hearing, meaning that Bob is capital R, small r, is heterozygous in other words hetero heterozygous don't use more as more r because they didn't as give you the letters to use bob is heterozygous and also anna is heterozygous they uh, passed their recessive allele even anna is like this they passed their recessive alleles to uh, one kid and the kid became deaf which is small r small r so that is the reason why Bob and Anna produced a kid who is uh, having this defect of uh, deafness. I think I'm clear. So they, sometimes they try to uh, change it, tilt it, as long as you know the principle. How do you identify? Please look at the babies. Ne? If you see the babies, the babies, you will see them that if one person is sick or is affected by the, 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 the condition, it means that the parents are heterozygous. You understand? If the two parents are normal, it means that the, 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 one, the two parents are heterozygous. But if all of them are normal, then it automatically it shows that the parents are uh, homozygous, uh, dominant. Use letters A. To represent a dominant allele and small a, a recessive allele. Show a uh, uh, recessive allele to give all the possible genotypes for hearing individual. For hearing individual, uh, possible use cover uh -huh, dominant allele and letter a for recessive allele to give all the possible genotypes for uh, people who are hearing. It's two marks. Remember, we said it here. Eh? A person who is hearing, yes? And remember, is, 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 uh, hearing is uh, dominant. If it is capital R, uh, uh, say this, capital A is for hearing. Hearing. Ne? And then small a is for deaf. Yes? It means that a person who is hearing can be homozygous, like this, homozygous dominant, or can be heterozygous. This person is hearing, and also this person is hearing. So these are the two options uh, you can give. So we will give you a tick here, and also give you a tick there. The last, last questions. I have this question, uh, and then I have another question, and another question. So yeah, basically I have one, two, three questions to smash okay let's smash these questions together all right they're saying that this question is now a uh, pedigree but now this pedigree is sex linked it's sex linked you remember the question we saw it was not pedigree but it was sex linked but now this one is pedigree and is sex linked so we are bringing sex linked character in the pe degree uh -huh. uh, this syndrome uh, however i don't know how you're gonna whether it's hoty or uh, goty or whatever 
you you, you read it uh, because uh, it's an uh, scientific term, né? but I know that many students uh, read it as hot. Okay, is sex linked uh, genetic disorder? It is caused by a dominant allele. You see, it's caused by a dominant allele on X chromosome. This shows that this is a sex. I told you that they can you cannot use X and Y unless it's mentioned in the question. Yes. Or they're gonna ask you, is it sex linked or non-sex linked? Ah, the diagram below shows the inheritance of this this uh, syndrome in the family. Okay. Name the type of uh, name the type of uh, diagram represented above. We have been talking about it. Is a is a, is a pedigree. Is a pedigree. Pedigree diagram. This is RNA. Uh, how many female uh, are in this family? How many female are in this family? Remember, circle means a female. Yes, it's one, it's two. Is three. What about this? This one is not a member. It just came to get married. Get married. Né? But they're saying how many female? Okay. This one is two. Since now they are going down, they're, they're saying females, not kids. Yeah. Okay. It's one, it's two, it's three, it's four. Is five, is six, yeah, yeah. They are not saying kids; they are saying uh, all the females. So there are six females, males in F one generation, F one generation. They are saying F one generation. How many males in the first generation? So uh, remember, you have first generation, second generation, then. Third generation. So how many generations are this? There are three. So they are saying how many males in the generation? So it's only one. The father. Yes. Uh -huh. Then they are saying that uh, uh, the next question. They are saying that uh, give Gab Gabby's genotype. Who is Gabby? No. Who is Gabby? Gabby's genotype. Who is Gabby now? Oh, Gabby. Is it caused by a dominant allele? Yes. It's caused by a dominant allele. So if it is caused by a dominant allele, so what does it mean? It means that when you are writing it, yes, you're supposed to, 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 Shared means affected, affected with age because whoever is where is Gabby? Yes, this person is affected with this disorder and is caused by the so it means that you have two options either you have uh Gabby is a female, so it can be capital G, small g, or it can be capital G, uh -uh, capital G, capital G. Yes, so but the question is saying they give Gabby's Gabby's uh, genotype. So which of the two is correct? Now you look at the babies. Is there any baby who is uh, normal without the condition? Yes. Is this? And remember, this is the recessive allele. So it means that this is uh, a male. With small g, capital Y, and this is a female, small b, small g, small g. So it means that if this individual, this individual, this individual, this individual, if this individual is this one, if this one is a female, small g, small g, ne? and then this one is a male, small g. And then why? So uh, the, 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 the father is already, the father, uh, this one, yes, the father is already having small g, capital Y. Automatically, how did the, this individual and this individual get this C recessive allele? 
if the mother is like this. Therefore, automatically the mother can't be this, so the mother is that like that. So it means that this Gabi is so the answer is gonna be x capital G x small g. So that it shows that the individual is affected because of this capital G, but has a recessive allele which is being transferred to the offsprings so that the offsprings are free from the condition. And then they're saying that um, uh, we are done with that. Uh, they're saying that Anju and Pilusa have four children. Give the phenotype of their sons. They want to know the phenotype of their sons, Anju and Pilusa, because uh -huh, they're saying sons. Mm, okay. The sons, the sons. Okay, so now look. Uh, Pelusa is a male. Yes? Pelusa is a male. And this Pelusa is what? Is affected. So meaning that it's having a capital G and a capital Y. But Anju is a female. Anju is what? Anju is a female, of which is caused by a recessive allele. You see? This is Anju. No, 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 no. This is Pelusa. Hmm? Pelusa. And then Anju is a female, meaning that it has no effect. And remember, it is recessive. So uh, if they are looking for uh, they are looking for the sons, so how are these sons going to be? Automatically, the son is going to have this. You know why? It's because this the father will always give the come from there. We always give the Y to the son, and then the X, the X is always coming from the mother. So the disease or whatever uh, recessive conditions uh, in female, in males, if the sex linked is caused by the female. Why? Because the father is always giving the the the, the Y chromosome. So this came from the mother, and then since it's recessive, so the person is. And affected. So the 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 description here, you're gonna say that and you have for children give the phenotype of their so the answer is gonna be an affected male or an affected or uh these guys without uh horses uh syndrome. Yes. Explain your answer. So it's the same thing, this, this, this question is similar to the question we tried to attempt uh, before. Explain your answer. Why are you saying that uh, uh, they're going to be like this? They're going to be unaffected. So you can say that uh, Pilusa is affected. Yes, you see that Pilusa, we have seen it, that uh, Pilusa is affected. Yes, it's a dominant allele. Yes. Well, Angie is unaffected. You can say unaffected or you can write this, yes? Males inherit the Y chromosome, as I've talked about, that males inherit the Y chromosome uh, uh, they are from, from Pelusa. You see, these boys, the sons, they inherit the Y chromosome from Pelusa. And then they inherited this X with the recessive allele from Anju. And this Anju is already affected hence uh, the individual is going to be like that so uh wow well, how the how do i get the four marks for marks that by, by telling us what's happening to pelusa and what's happening to anju pelusa is affected a tick well anju is unaffected yes so the boys or the males will inherit the y chromosome from the father give you another tick yes and then they will inherit the X with the recessive allele from the mother. That's all. Yes. You see, genetics is simple. But if you are not keen, it might crush you down. So you must always think before you try to answer questions concerning about, concerning about this genetics.
please don't just rush and then you answer these questions no the questions you have to read them you read them you read them you read them you read them